Hey, I'm Tim Boomer. I wrote a book called The Bassist's Bible, How to Play Every Groove from Afro-Cuban to Zydeco. I wanted to show you the way I use the book to teach my students how to learn bass lines quickly, using a little bit of music theory. Many of us play by ear, but the thing about written music is that it makes everything faster and more consistent. And once you've been playing for a while, any amount of music theory will help you, whether you're playing in a band, jamming with your friends, or just talking with other musicians. Paul Jackson, the bassist for the Headhunters, who also wrote the intro to my book, said, the more you know, the better you'll play. And he's right. My book's simple examples, often written in the key of C, and the clear rhythmic groupings make it easy to absorb the material. So this is a short bass lesson. We're going to use an example from my book out of the Caribbean chapter. This will be reggae example one for those of you who have the book and want to follow along. Okay, let's take a look at it. So let's say your guitarist hands you this piece of music and your drummer says, hey, on this one, you come in on the end of one. How would you know from looking at this example what your drummer was talking about? Well, let's start with the time signature. These two numbers, four and four, say there are four beats to the measure and every quarter note gets one beat. So four beats to a measure. A measure, sometimes called a bar, goes from this line to this line. And we divide the measure into beats. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, simple enough. And here is a quarter note. It gets one beat. So what's this note? That's an eighth note. It's played half as long as a quarter note or half a beat. And these other symbols are rests. And you don't play on a rest. So everybody knows that when a drummer counts off a tune, he goes one, two, three, four, and then you play. He's counting quarter notes. If you want to take eighth notes into account, you could count it as one and two and three and four and. When we wrote the book, we were careful to group the notes so it is easier to read them relative to that quarter note pulse. We divide the beats like this. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. So this first symbol, an eighth note rest, followed by an eighth note, means we don't start playing on the one. We rest for a half a beat. One, and. So that's what the drummer was talking about. Come in on the end of one. Looking at the second measure, this symbol is also a rest, a whole note rest. That equals four beats, so that means we don't play for the entire measure. And since there are four measures like this, that means we don't play for about half of the time. This already looks like it could be easy to learn. We could do this. Okay, let's listen to it, and we'll get an idea of what we're dealing with here. One, two, three, four... So that's pretty easy. Okay. Let's look at this. Here we go. Da 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 da. 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 Okay, good. So now we've broken it down as far as the rhythm goes. That's going to help a lot. If you're a student, you might be able to figure some of this out on your own. You can also shorten your learning curve if someone sits down with you and just shows you the basics. And if you're teaching someone, it's just more rewarding to teach cool bass lines that are usable. So after watching this, if your drummer says to you, I want you to come in on the end of four, you might be able to figure out what to do and where the end of four is. One, and two, and three, and four, and, you know? So you just invested about five minutes of your time on some music theory. Congratulations! Hopefully you got something out of it and it helps. Thanks for watching and checking out my book, The Bassist's Bible. It's also going to be available as an ebook pretty soon with audio tracks and embedded video. 
My website, basisbible.com, also has other video examples and a blog about my experiences learning bass and playing in bands. Okay, see you next time. Keep playing.